So uh, I'm sorry, you had a question? Yeah. I'll um, stop talking. Chance a question for I am totally not going to talk any more over your question. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, you all write, as much as I hate the phrase, uh, strong female characters. Um, how do you think we can move on from calling them strong female characters to just people, which is what they are. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I've these other questions, so you get this one. Oh, I think I'm still, you know? I well, I'll answer in a You know we should shout down from her heights? Okay. So, Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Right, toss me your microphone, What's your answer? Sorry, player. <laughs> I can get there. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, what's She's just the hero of the story. And um, he just made it that way, and he just did it. Um, other than just doing it, I don't know if change of people's opinion just sort of takes time and it's very glacial. It's, it's glacial. It's, it's like it's constant a slow process. I mean, it's, it's been nice to think, you know, that we could just say, okay, well, you know, what we want is just to encourage people to write strong people. people. But what's that going to default to? Is it's going to default to strong white men? <laughs> I mean, it's just sort of how, you know, our society is at the moment. And if you look at, you know, for every strong female character out there, there's a big group of people who hate that character and talk endlessly about their flaws and how they should be better and how they should never make mistakes and how they wouldn't have done this in this person's situation. And, you know, as long as female characters are judged much, much more harshly than their male counterparts ever are for doing exactly the same thing, we're going to have to talk about writing strong female characters. Because characters, it will have to make mistakes. That is right. their job, is to have stuff go wrong and to make mistakes. So you can't say, well, I wrote her, and nothing happened to her, and she made no mistakes. <laughs> right, she was awesome, and everything she did was completely right. And so nothing bad ever happened to her. That's and not a that story. Was, right, there's no conflict. But, the, we, but we as a society are very uncomfortable with the idea of women who make mistakes. Not with men who make mistakes. We're usually... I'm, I'm sorry, men out there. This is nothing against you. <laughs> um, this is a this is this is a over you know it's, it's an over it's a generalization about the way that society views these things. But you can look at two characters who do exactly the same thing. One is a guy and one is a girl. And there's a 
you know, the, 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 the perception of the guy is usually, oh, you poor misunderstood soul, it's so terrible that you were driven to do this by the tortures of, uh, you know, your tortured soul, and we love you, and we hope that you get better, and right? with the girl, it's like, go back to your home on a horror island, I don't want to see any more of your, you know, terrible mistake-making ways. So I think as long as we're really unforgiving of, um, of complicated women who do complicated things and have flaws and sometimes make mistakes, we're going to have to talk about strong female characters. So I don't know I'm down. <laughs> we switched positions, by the way, which is exciting. What? Now you're over there and I'm over here. I know, I know. I came over to hear Sarah, but I'm enjoying you now. So we can see if we got somebody from like the middle now. Yeah! Yeah, middle. Yeah. The end of the middle. How about right there? Yes. Do you mind if I throw you something? <coughs> this is going to go better this time. I'm trying to. Uh, this will go. Now, anybody around this gesture? If I hit you in the face. Okay, now I'll put it back this way. 